Chief Meteorologist Tom Coombs here. It's September 1st, which means we just ended meteorological summer. And it was a hot one, and it was a wet one, and this was very significant. And it may be a big foretelling of the future and where we're heading with a new climate normal. A summer like 2021 is probably more likely to happen. This summer was the ninth warmest and second wettest. These two factors really stand out because typically you have your hotter years in a drought year. And we also had a hot year and we didn't see that many 90 degree days. And most of June was dry. In fact, we were in a almost severe drought for the area until the end of June. And then we got all the rain at once. And then the humidity went soaring for the rest of the summer. Steamy nights like we had through much of August are probably going to become a new normal. And with higher humidity in the air, you end up getting heavier downpours, flooding, and heavy rain. This looks to be the trend on where we're heading for future summers. We only had 11 days above 90 degrees. We had a lot of 88, 89s, don't get me wrong, with a heat index above 90, but we only recorded 11 days at or above 90 degrees. But we had a record number of muggy nights, 42. That's really significant. Those are nights that you're definitely going to have your AC on. It's going to be working harder. You're going to be using more energy. And we're just going to be doing things to try and keep cool. We had quite a few days with that heat index of 95 to 100, especially towards the end of August. So those number of extreme heat days and nights increasing. Our baseline around 22, we doubled down on that this year with 44. And you look at the trend line, what's predicted by the Hoosier Resilience Index, which takes into account emissions from climate change. If we do nothing... We could have somewhere around 70 days a summer. So basically the entire summer with what we saw for much of August. That looks to be the trend. And you can see an easy trend line here with the numbers. 44, and we're ranging with our projections by the middle of the century by 2050, somewhere between 60 and 70. We seem to be right on par with that. So with this kind of confidence and verification, you have to say that it is more likely we're going to have these hot, humid summers. And that will also bring around the risk for heavy rain and downpours. But we could also have more bouts of drought. What climate change says is we're just likely to have more extremes. This summer was unique because we saw both an extreme of drought at the beginning of summer and then we had a surplus by the end. Climate change can bring that because you're just going to be hotter. And when you're hot and when you're dry, you'll dry out more quickly. And when you're wet and when you're humid... You're going to be more humid and likely to be wetter as well. This is a verification of a changing climate. Doesn't mean that the world's coming to an end, but it does mean this is something we have to prepare for. If you're thinking about what are we going to do with water, drainage is important, especially when you have heavy rain events. Also with heat, it's becoming more and more apparent that you probably need to have air conditioning because of the hot and humid nights. And the number of nights we're having under a heat advisory that over time really taxes the body. So if you're going to make improvements to your house or you're looking for a place to live, air conditioning probably is at the top of your list. Not just for simple comforts, but for serious health issues because we're likely to have more muggy, hot, and humid summers as we go forward. As we head into fall... Looks not quite as sweltering, but we're more likely to have an above normal fall as well. And I'll make that early prediction that fall color will likely come on late again. Enjoy this fall season. It looks to be at least nice and much cooler over the next couple of weeks. But we'll keep tracking as we look to have probably a warmer fall season as well.